What up my lovelies? Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing, Taurus? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are being safe. It's crazy out there right now. Try to stay home as much as you can. Anyways, I um, want to let you guys know that I'm going to be uploading a video that is going to go a little bit deeper into the Royal Conjunction that we're going to be experiencing on December 21st. If you are interested in seeing how this is going to affect your sign, definitely stay tuned for that. So let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance. So when shuffling the cards, uh, the Knight of Cups popped out. So uh, this is how you're viewing the situation with the Knight of Cups. A lot of emotional connection, um, communication with your partner, maybe even feeling like uh, you guys are uh, finding it a little bit more easier to communicate to one another. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands here. Um, so you are you probably are dealing with, um, I feel that this has more to do with work. For some of you guys, it could be that you are really uh, being distracted right now with work. Uh, some of you guys working long hours. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so this could be your partner as well. Uh, not really not really being able to have much downtime for one another. Um, your next card here is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so I definitely feel that uh, your partner may be, um, uh, there could be some type of like not being able to spend a lot of time with one another, um, alone time. Uh, this could be, you know, responsibilities. This could be dealing with your children. Um, if you are not married, this can also represent uh, the partner being pulled off because of work. There's a lot of expectations around uh, this time right now uh, where people are doing more overtime, overworking because of the holidays, etc. Um, but I definitely see here with the Ace of Wands, the passion being reignited, perhaps even feeling like uh, you guys haven't really been able to spend that much time or for others of you not being able to uh, maintain that sex drive. Uh, but I definitely do see that as throughout the month goes, um, you guys are going to kind of acknowledge that and start making time or putting effort uh, towards wanting to spend time together. Now, how your partner is viewing the situation, we have the two of pentacles, the angel, the newt, the lover's card. And the six of cups okay so yeah i feel that responsibilities this this is giving me more of the vibe of like everyday routine type of energy um really focused and determined on uh creating uh financial stability this could be you or this could be your partner uh nonetheless i do see that um there is going to be i want to say around the middle of december going into the end of december it's almost like you guys are making yourselves a priority like one uh making each other a priority um, and spending more quality time together here. Um, partner may be feeling like you're being pulled away or like um, there is some type of distancing happening, um, but I don't really see it as a distance. I feel that it has more to do with you dealing with a lot of things right now, Taurus. Um, and this could be career-wise that is affecting as well. Uh, I definitely do see them um, wanting uh, to rekindle or wanting to strengthen the, the unionship. Um, and again, I, I see more of the physical connection coming, um, kind of going back to what it used to be uh, when you first started either dating each other or when you first started, um, you know, being with one another or if you're in a marriage, how it was or how it used to be when you guys were uh, newlyweds. Because I'm definitely feeling, I'm definitely feeling this energy of like um, giddiness, like getting excited, getting butterflies, that type of energy. And I feel that with the Six of Cups, it's revisiting or revamping the energy, kind of like emulating the past, how it used to be, uh, and how important spending time with each other used to be. Now, for others of you, those of you guys that are single. Uh, you were probably dealing with a person that perhaps you felt like they weren't really putting that much effort or that, mu that much energy. However, I do see communication still happening here. With the Seven of Wands, what they're telling you here is try not to be so guarded, Taurus, because I see you guys like taking two steps forward and then two steps back. 
or three steps back, I should say. Um, it's almost the feeling like um, a tug and pull type of energy where like if they don't message, you don't message, uh, you wait for them to message you uh, or you wait a certain time frame and then you reach out or you text them and then they text you back and it's kind of like you're wanting to see exactly where this connection is going um and on their part i definitely do see them interested in you there is definitely uh, a feeling of wanting to come together or like when is this finally going to happen um for some of you guys you've been dealing with this person for quite a while but i do feel that you're very defensive like you're very protecting yourself and your energy not really wanting to um be irrational when it comes to making the decision or making it clear to this person that you're interested in them. Uh, we do have here the Ace of Wands with the full card. So this is um, new passion, new desire. Uh, this can also represent the opportunity to start a new relationship. But again, with the full card, I feel that uh, you're being very like, uh, I don't want to go down this road where I'm going to end up getting hurt or I'm going to, you know, I start getting into these illusions and then this fantasy world and then uh, come crashing down, you know. So I see you guys like really being methodical about not making past uh, mistakes that have hindered previous relationships uh, with the full card and the six of cups. It's like you're not wanting uh, to continue on making the same mistakes that have been made in the past when we're talking about relationships. However, uh, with the lover's card here, I definitely do see them interested in you. Um, really, uh, again, like I said, if you feel like there's been some type of distancing or communication hasn't been that great, I definitely do see it progressing for the month of December. Um, I think that on both sides, you guys may be feeling like there's a lot of things going on in your life. For some of you guys, it could be that you're so focused and consumed with work or with a, you know, trying to grow and trying to uh, make your life better. I see you guys on the search for stability. Uh, so this could be that, you know, you're working a lot. You're working extra hours. For others of you, it could be that you're working and going to school at the same time. So I feel like time right now, you're a bit time restricted. And I see the partner uh, really wanting to put effort only because they feel like you're kind of pulling away or like you're not giving them as much attention. Unbeknownst to them, it's because you're dealing with, with this up here, right? Uh, which is like a lot of movement, a lot of opportunities coming your way that you're going to take those opportunities. Um, but with that, obviously, it restricts or it takes time away from this connection. Uh, so I, I they, don't, they don't see that, but I feel that that's what's happening right now. And I think that on their spectrum, they're feeling like, well, why is Taurus not texting as much? Why are they not calling me? Uh, why are they not, you know, maintaining communication the way it was? And there's something within them that is going to make them feel, I, I want to say insecurity start to come up. And there is a feeling of wanting to like, how do I bring Taurus back? How do I get their attention? Um, so they start putting more effort. Um, but I definitely do see here, a lot of promise and progress. Uh, I see this going, for those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone, I definitely do see um, the opportunity to stabilize this connection or perhaps take it to the next level and make it official. Um, for those of you guys that are single and currently not dealing with anyone, um, try not to be so guarded, Taurus. I know that it's difficult, especially when we've been through very difficult situations in our past. Um, and, I, and, you know, you guys have a tendency of doing things a certain way and not wanting to change that. But I feel that change is going to be very important for this month of December uh, with the Ace of Wands and you beginning and the full card having the need to be a little bit more spontaneous or having the need uh, to be more open minded in your approach when it comes to love and romance. I do see a person from the past coming back around or trying to contact you, but I see you more focused or more concerned in regards to a new energy that's coming in. So for some of you guys, um, this is going to be unfolding all the way to the end of December. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you guys for this month of December 2020 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a direct message. Direct message for Taurus. Okay. 
and we have appreciation. So what they're saying here, um, Taurus, if you're currently single uh, and have been single for quite a while, I do see a person coming back around. I feel that they're acknowledging that the ga the grass, the gas, <laughs> the grass is not always greener on the other side. Um, but I see you very empowered. I feel that you are emotionally checked out of this connection. Do not entertain it because I do see new love coming towards you. And what they're telling you is take some time, slow down a bit, take a deep breath and be grateful. Be grateful for what you've been through in the past, even if it's been difficult. And be grateful for the things that are coming towards you that you're unaware of as of now. Appreciation is that of gratefulness type of energy, but it also represents um, bringing to you good karma, bringing to you things that you deserve because you have been tested and you've passed. You've ascended to a different level. If you can see here, there's a lot of like plush greenery, um, flowers, and it, it's just beautiful. And what they're saying here is take a moment to be present. I see you guys very busy. I think December and going into January, you guys are going to be extremely busy. Uh, a lot of things going on in your life. And I think that that may be affecting your love life. Uh, in the sense of not really focusing on that because you have things that you want to make happen. Um, but at the same time, what they're saying here is love is around you and love is coming towards you. And it's going to come to you in the most unexpected ways. So for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, uh, you may actually feel like, oh gosh, you know, why did this amazing person decide to show up just now when I'm so busy and I have so many things going on? But what they're telling you is be grateful because I feel that this new person's energy that's coming towards you is someone that is not wanting to waste your time. Their intentions is not to hurt you. They're coming in and they're coming in um, with the want and need to have you in their life. So definitely going into with the nine uh, knight of cups um someone's confessing their feelings for you i'm almost getting the sense for some of you guys this could actually be a friend that you've known for a while but you guys have never really seen each other in that way and i feel like they may have been weighing their options like should i tell taurus how i feel about them I don't want to lose the friendship, but I also don't want to miss out on an opportunity if there is an opportunity there. So I feel that for some of you guys, this could come very unexpected to you. But I feel that this person could be already around you. Um, because with the lover's card here and the six of cups, it's almost like, should I confess my love to them with the Six of Cups? You know, there's a friendship there. There's a friendship that is being built. And the fear of not wanting to jeopardize that. So for some of you Taurus out there, if you get a friend <laughs> that professes their love to you, if you genuinely feel that they're good for you in the sense of that it's perhaps worth risking the friendship, I would definitely take that opportunity because I do see a promise for something um, beautiful here being born, something beautiful being built. Um, so again, I hope that this gives you guys some type of clarity, some type of uh, insight. I want to wish every single one of you Taurus out there happy holidays. I hope you guys are staying safe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.